you remember this summer when the pro boards were lying to people to get petition signatures? They're scamming over there. And they gave and us the one, the and I was reading it on one. the back, and they were they're trying to get abortion signatures. They even double checked, and we're like, no, this is the one you want to sign. And we read it, and it was the abortion one. Well, the court hearings have started. Here's an update. Tell us what happened. You were in front of a court, and you said, we have evidence that there's been fraud here. What did they say to that? We literally have a count in our complaint that says fraud in the inducement. This should be invalidated. It shouldn't go on the ballot because they induced signatures by fraud. Opposing counsel for Dakotans of Health actually said to the judge, there's no law <laughs> that says we can't engage in fraud to obtain signatures. So kick this case out, judge. There's no law that specifically says that. All of our laws are meant to inform voters. They're supposed to get a circulator handout to be able to read the attorney general's explanation. So no misrepresentation can take place. They're going to be informed before they sign. And for them to claim our, our lawsuit can't go forward because it's not illegal to induce signatures by fraud. I told the court that is an astounding position for them to take. I think we all understand that fraud is wrong. I think it is encompassed in any number of our statutes. And for somebody to take that position before the court, I just thought was just unbelievable.